Hey, what's up YouTube? This is iPhone Modder here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to get free internet tethering on your iPhone or iPad. So let's just jump right into it. So what you're going to want to do is unlock your device, obviously. You're going to want to be jailbroken, first of all, on any uh, firmware. So if you want to check out how to jailbreak your firmwares, please go on my channel, which is youtube.com slash iPhone Modder, or you can go on my website, which is jailbreakcentral.tripod.com. And you can check out guides slash videos on how to jailbreak your newest and latest iDevices. So first what you're going to want to do is go into Cydia. And you will have the Cydia icon once you are jailbroken. And you're going to want to go in the search tab down here. Now listen carefully. You're going to want to type in PDA net. And you'll not have to add any custom repositories and it will say mod my I and that is the repository that it, that is used and it comes standard in Cydia and you want to click and install confirm I already installed it so it just gives you the option to reinstall remove and now once you're done with that you want to go open up your app right there and let's see what it shows you so first off, it's going to probably say the iPhone needs to be restarted and initialized. So that often does not work. I mean, you could try to restart it, but uh, from past experiences, that does not work. I recommend just deleting the app, rebooting your iPhone, and reinstalling it. And if not, that problem persists, then just try uh, things like just reinstalling it from different custom repositories and things like that. So there are actually a few ways to do this. Um, so you can do USB tether, which you just connect it via the 30 pin dock connector into USB tether. And now it says PDA net is ready for USB connection. Please click on the PDA net tread slash tray slash menu bar. And you actually, for this, you do need to download a special software that goes onto your computer, and it's from this website here, junefabrics.com slash desktop. You just download it, and it detects your PDA.net device right away. And by the way, this is free, unlike uh, MyY and stuff like that, which actually costs $40. And if you guys don't know this, AT&T does have tethering, which is $20 a month, plus Wi-Fi tethering, which was recently available for iPhone 4 coming in this iOS 4.3 soft software update and I believe that does cost $40 a month now I don't recommend you do this just because it is not supported by AT&T but if you do want free tethering this is great and you do not need an iPhone 4 for it again it works for any iDevice that has a 3G network it will not work for iPhone 2G I believe so so this is the setting I usually use you want to go on Wi-Fi hotspot and it's going to give you an option to set a name for your network. So I'm going to set my network to iPhone Modder. And you can actually set a passcode. I think this passcode does need to be 10 digits long. So you can put in your phone number, for example. But in this case, I'm just going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I put 10 ones. Then return and then channel just leave it at 12 signal now if you just want to cast like a Wi-Fi bubble around you so no one else around you can detect a signal put on 10% I think about a hundred percent would broadcast about a hundred feet in open air with no walls so I'm just gonna put it at about 15% and you can adjust it to whatever you like by the way this this does to some extent actually drain your battery a little bit so now i'm going to activate it and show it to you on my laptop so now i'm about to activate it and let's just press activate and as you can see it is broadcasting a wi-fi signal so now i'm going to go over to my laptop and i'll be back when i have it out okay guys so now you can see i am on my laptop screen and i am actually connected to my own netgear network at the moment but i'm going to show you guys right here that there is a neck network name under the name of iphone modder i'm sorry this is a little bit out of focus but if you can see this network name is iphone modder and i'm going to click on that select connect 
then it says I need a passcode and this passcode as we decided before is one 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 six seven eight nine ten those six seven eight nine tens by the way were all ones so ten ones now let's press OK connecting to iPhone modder and it says now we are officially connected and it says iPhone modder here and then it says internet access so now what we're gonna want to do is let's open up a web web browser and see how this baby works out so I'm opening up Chrome right here so I opened up Chrome and then as you can see it loaded up the home page pretty fast and I'm going to just go on youtube.com okay this is taking quite a while but it's nothing to complain about considering it is free and just to show you guys I am actually running the hotspot feature on my phone right now as you can see it shows the bytes transferred battery all that sort of stuff and because this is the free version unfortunately you can only transfer a total of 20 megabytes per use which is kind of bad but I mean with some custom repositories you could get my why but it's I my my opinion worth it you could just restart the network all over again and it will work fine so let's go back to the computer screen and check it out so now we're on YouTube and I'm just gonna go on one of my videos and it's loading up my channel right now and this is actually considering that I have one bar of AT&T 3G coverage and my video has started playing as you can see the 360p is buffering pretty fast hey what's up guys this is iPhone Mon this is iPhone monitor here and today I'm gonna be it is buffering pretty fast and I'm just gonna increase it to 480p okay so now we're running at 480p and it is actually running it with no lag so let's just step it up a notch and increase this baby to 720p All right, hasn't started yet, so we don't know a lot of lag. Okay, this is actually pretty cool, I think. 720p is going well with only two bars of AT&T 3G data. Now, let's set it up to 1080p. I doubt this will work, but let's test it out. All right, we're running at 1080p right now. It is buffering. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit for you. That it has the XX on the back right here, which means that it is, it is usually a prototype. Okay, well, this is pretty amazing. We are actually running a 1080p YouTube video stream with only now it is about three bars of 3g data out of five bars and this is AT&T so they have a generally slow network compared to the other competitors and this is pretty amazing so you are actually getting free tethering at a data transfer rates of 720p for um, video streaming very easily and 1080p video streaming pretty easily and I'm just going to run a speed test real quick on my internet browser and I'll be back when I am done. Alright guys, so I am actually finishing up the speed test right here on speedtest.net. Um, and it is actually going better than I expected. As you can see right here, the ping is 253ms. You got your download speeds of 3.44 megabytes per second. Then you got your upload speed of 0.2 megabytes per second now uh, the ping and the upload are not the best but the download is what you should be looking for and that is pretty amazing in my opinion uh, I have AT&T coverage at my house and we get 2.52 and that's really not the best I'm honestly surprised about this and that is pretty good for 3G 
and after doing all that video streaming and all that speed test we only used 3.31 megabytes out of the 20 that we are allowed to use so if you actually do need to run more than 20 megabytes per second you just have to exit out of pda net double click and close out pda net then rejoin and reactivate the hotspot so guys this is all i have for you today and I mentioned this in my last video, but I have a very interesting Apple rumor about the iPhone 5. And uh, I didn't want to release any, any information about it, but if I get enough subscribers, I will release this rumor. And by the way, you might not believe me, but I searched Redmond Pie XLE's 9-5 Mac, other YouTubers, and no one has mentioned this rumor, so I believe I am the first one to become public with it i did uh obtain it from an anonymous source who i do not wish to name and i will share this very good piece of news with you guys if i get some actual subscribers and you guys like this video up so please have a nice day and please subscribe